So I'm working on clay and resin projects today and I have just a whole bunch of stuff out on my desk. Different molds and cutters and just tons of stuff. Um, because I'm just gonna spend the day working on embellishments and stuff. So I just rolled out. I actually earlier had used air dry clay to make all of these embellishments right here. And a lot of these were cut, here let me just set it down, um, a lot of, let me zoom in a little bit, um, a lot of these were, and I used just this air dry clay, Polyform Model Air, and I like working with air dry clay because it's so easy to work with, unlike hard clay that you have to have Superman strength to condition, even with a pasta machine, which I do have um, clamped over here to my desk as well. Um, it's really a big pain in the butt to work with. I really don't enjoy working with the oven baked clay, but the thing is, is that it is sturdier. Um, these have a tendency to crack on me and um, they warp as they dry. So um, not a big fan of the, you know, this but anyway I went ahead and cut like flat sheets and then cut these out because I'm gonna make some art tiles with this clay and um, so I'm using some of those um, and then I used this one to make my faces because I do use faces a lot in my art and I also for these pieces right here the paisley the little paisley pieces the leaves this little piece right here and here. I use this Wilton mold. So this is what you get from the candy aisle, or yeah, the candy aisle, baking aisle, whatever. And I use that to make those. And so these are all ready. Once they dry, they have to cure for 24 hours. So I just stuck a big piece of chipboard underneath it so that I can easily move this around. Stuck it on some plastic wrap and now this is just gonna have to wait until to dry. Wait until it is dry tomorrow and uh, they'll be ready to embellish or decorate. And so I had rolled out this little piece of black oven bake clay. This is the soft Fimo clay. And I am going to cut out some more little um, pieces and I think the first one I'm going to use I'm going to try to use this is this is these are made for the melt melting pot um, what are these these are called texture texture treads so I'm going to try that on here I don't know if they're going to work on clay I've never used this before I actually haven't worked with clay that much before. I've only done clay projects once <laughs> since I started crafting about a year and a half ago. So, um, but you know, I have all this stuff in my craft room and I'm like, I'm going to start doing projects. I'm going to quit looking at this stuff and start doing. So, <clears throat> all right, so I cut this out on my pasta machine on a very thin setting. It was like two or something. And I'm going to take some water and spritz this texture tread. I ain't inventing the wheel here. This is all techniques that are all over the internet. And this is like a peacock feather texture tread. And I'm just gonna stick it in here. Oh, you know what? Let me use the brayer. I'm just gonna use a brayer to get an impression down. Whoops, that moved on me, so. We'll have to see how that goes. And dun dun dun. I do that a lot. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And I'm gonna wipe this off. Well duh, Cam, don't do it so hard that you take the impression out for gosh sakes. Okay, I don't know 
if you guys can see, let me break this huge ass tile. Oh, of course. Here, let me do it this way. This is a big, like, 16 inch tile. Oh my God, this was a few doll effort. All right, I was trying to show you a close up of that, but I'll wait until it gets cut before I do that because <laughs> the tile is heavy and I'm making a mess. Okay, and then I brought out, I have all these um, Pearl X Mica powders. And yeah, I use a 50% off coupon at Michael's to get those two big sets that they have with the different colors. Um, so it's a good deal when you can get them for the 50% off. But anyway, so this is how I store all of my embossing powders and the mica powders. Perfect pearls, blah, blah, blah. There's some Lindy Stamp Gang in here. Um, and I have this in... One of these days I'll do a craft room tour video so you can see how I store my all my crap. But this is in one of those Michaels storage cubes. I have a lot of that mixed with the Ikea in here and for storage. And this is, was a three door unit. And because I wanted to have all the powders together, I did um, take one of the drawers out like so. And I use this. Actually, I use this now as a um, project tray when I'm working on stuff. And it allowed me to double up. So this is higher because these are very short shelves. So um, for that reason, um, I can stick these up where I can actually see the color. And because, you know, a lot of these, especially the Lindy's, they're too high for this this so if you take one of the drawers out um, then you you know you can just pop this right on top make this the top drawer and uh, it all fits in there so just a little insight to how I store but anyway um, my whole purpose of getting this out was because I wanted to get this blue what color is this true blue actually there's another blue I'm gonna use blue and green on this um, what is this Turquoise. I'm going to use turquoise. Turquoise and spring green are these two colors here. And I'm just, I'm going to sit down. Okay. Oh, I haven't even used this. Okay. And I'm just going to take my finger and... Kind of hit those raised areas. And then go back in with that green. And hit some other areas. Okay. I have used this one. Boy, I've used a lot of that one. I don't know what the heck I used that on. Okay, and I'm just trying to mix and blend. Okay, I actually got more green than... blue on that. That's okay. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is use one of these little cutters here. And I think I'm going to use the heart. Find a really good uh, I'm going to use this big square on that. There we go. Try to get as much of that little peacock feather in there. And 
then I'll go in with the heart up here in the uh, this one looks kind of veiny so I'm gonna use that right there and how about another square right oh boy okay right there so I'll show you what this looks like and then I'm going to set this on a um, tray baking tray and put it in the oven to bake off but there you can kind of see whoops there you go Ooh, and um, I can either take an awl and put a little hole in that so that I can use this as a charm dangle but I'm going to want to use this on a canvas or something because I'm getting, getting ready to start doing some canvas art and so I think I'm just gonna leave it as is no hole and here you can see my little heart and again I got these little cutters in either the baking aisle or the clay aisle at Joann's and again using a 50% off coupon when the really expensive stuff I don't I can't remember if these were expensive or not but like the mica powders and stuff like that it's like 30 bucks when um, I wait for a 50% off uh, sale before I buy those things because it's just so expensive um, there's my little heart and then I've just got another square. So I'm going to cut out some more designs and um, I'll be back to do a share after I get done. I just had to come back and share this one because you know I love all things steampunk if you watch my channel. So um, this Gears Texture Tread, if you're into steampunk as well, oh my gosh you should get this. So I did the impression in my black clay with that as well and I just kind of created like some metal effects like rusty metal effects by using these three colors and it is the super russet super bronze and a duo yellow no duo green yellow so just kind of like uh, did the whole blending thing went back in with a this tool that's for the pearl pearl no the ranger pearl powders whatever the heck those are called and uh anyway just went ahead and smooshed it all around and now i'm getting ready to cut my stuff out of it but i just wanted to share how i got that look on those because i think that is super cool love them all right i'll be back okay so i just pulled these out of the oven i got this long piece which is this piece right here and I'll probably use that like on a journal or something to be the border on a journal. This beautiful peacock, I stamped into this. I don't know if you can see, yeah, there you go. I stamped into that with a platinum brilliant ink pad. So I really like that. And then I have these Lisa Pavelka borders. And I love how my little heart came out. I stuck some jewels in it. Tucked them down in there. Love how that turned out. Along with my other little bitty hearts. To go with it. My little face. I put all these uh, mica powders on it before I baked it, so you know it won't come off now. It bakes right in. My frames. This is from that Martha Stewart mold. And then I did some more little trinkets where I stuck a, or flowers. I mean, where I stuck a crystals in there. I love how that came out. And then all these little doodads here, so teeny tiny flowers, and I use like copper. I think copper was that um, clay, and then I 
used another just pure white on that and then all my little y'all saw me do that love that okay now I'm working on my resin pieces I have my molds filled but they haven't fully cured so gotta wait for that to harden up and then some more um, I'm working on some more resin pieces right now so I'll be back so that was incredibly messy um, I used a couple of different resins um, I used this easy cast by casting craft resin that um, I got in again Craigslist haul and it was so old that shows you how long she had held on to this the uh, hardener is amber colored so <laughs> That's been sitting for quite a while, um, but I don't care because I paint over this anyway. Um, and this is how that piece turned out. I really um, don't care the, about the amber color because I'm going to paint over all these anyway. But there's how that one turned out. These are those two um, resin molds that I got from an Etsy store. And I am really glad I got these because, and here's the other one. It's a little cabochon. Uh, hold setting frame whatever you want to call it and I am glad I got the frame piece because let me pull out some of these frames um, because I have been buying these frames from different sellers you know and because I have the mold now this is uh, this mold right here so these are those cameo frames and now I can make my own so I really like that um, I did have um, another resin that I've been using this amazing Illumilite or whatever they call this I can't remember but it's amazing casting resin now this is the one that sets up in 10 minutes so this took overnight and it's still not fully cured, but I did pop it out of the frame. It was hard enough to do that, but it still needs to uh, cure for like another 24 hours. But this cures in like 10 minutes. It's really hard to work with though, uh, because after you mix it, you don't have very much time at all to start pouring. Uh, so it was incredibly messy. I was having a hard time getting the pour right. As you can see here, it just it made a mess in this mold right here. Um, and the same with this uh, mold because I wound up cutting one. And you can see, I mean, look. <laughs> this is the one bought off of an uh, Etsy seller. And look at this one. So awesome I love 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 the way that turned out but anyway I kind of went over on my pour so I had to do some cutting around um, the edges of it so just as soon as I get that down the pouring part down right anyway those will be coming out really perfectly and here's the white one the cabochon setting frame so again I had I'm gonna have to do a little bit of filing around here because I over poured on the back side but again it's a learning curve so just as soon as I get that down so I'm popping these out oh I love how that turned out I actually like this I wish it didn't take take I wish it didn't um, set up so quickly um, and you had a little bit more working time with it because you feel hurried and rushed and that's why I was over pouring because um, I was just trying to get it in there oh wow I really like this I think between the two resins, I really like this amazing casting resin because it does it really quickly. You don't have to wait for it to cure. Um, and I like the white color. So, yeah, I really like that. So I'm just popping these out. So now I have all these little doodads that I get to work with. Um, here's the butterfly one. Let's pull it out. Very nice. Here's a little itty bitty butterfly. Yes, he'll have to do some following on that. But overall, like I said, I really like the way these are turning out. Here's a frame. Very nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, these are the ones that are going to be kind of mucked up. <laughs> and I'll have to cut. So you can cut around this. 
Um, but I, I'm going to ha also have to file some of those pieces down. So you can cut around it. Yeah, this is a total ugh, failure right there. Cut around this. So I'm working with clay and resin yesterday and today. And today's Good Friday, so I'm, I've taken today off. Of course, I'm still working. I'm checking emails from home, but for the most part, I'm taking the day off so I can do crafty things on Good Friday. Uh, so there's that. And now this one, yeah, this is another one that it was the rose mold. This one right here, which is a beautiful mold by Martha Stewart, but... I missed a lot of the parts in here, but I figured I would still keep it. I'll tuck it in, you know, some other flowers and stuff. Even though it didn't come out fully, so... I still like it. And, let's see how we did on this Wilton mold. Oh, wow. Beautiful! Oh my gosh! I love this! Love it! I got this little piece. Yeah, it got connected to the other. Again, I'll have to do the cutting. I'll do that off camera, but you can get the gist of what this looks like. Very cool. Love it. That little leafy piece. Another little leafy piece I'll have to cut around, but still. And then these border pieces here. Oh my gosh. Beautiful! Oh, I'm so addicted to this now. Now i got to get working on some canvas pieces so I can use these on some canvases. Wow, look at that. Put some little bling or flat back pearl centers in here. Mmm, just pretty. Alright, so uh, that's just a sampling of my little clay and resin pieces that I've been working on. So, anyway, I will see you later.